Hello, I'm Ramesh Ranganathan, a uh, comedian, and uh, I'm here with Capital Extra, and I'm basically going to be reviewing some of the year's biggest hip-hop tracks and, and giving you my opinion. Uh, first up, we've got Ransom by Little Tecca. I'm never really sure whether you're supposed to say Lil or Little, yeah, but anyway, let's see what it's like. Jesus. <laughs> He's getting a massage. He's got braces, so it's good that um, dentistry is important to him. I say he's unfortunate enough to have eyes like mine, uh, which is a shame for him. Uh, so he's sort of dancing around quite a lot, but it looks like his face doesn't know where the rest of his body is. He's showing absolutely no emotion in his face at all. He's then got loads of women on treadmills with blokes screaming at them. Um, so I guess fitness is important to him. Uh, I think this is dog <laughs> It's making me feel angry and I, I can't watch any more of that. So next up we've got um, D Block Europe with the song Home. New good, new good, but that home you make you feel safe. He <laughs> 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 said it said new pretty good, new pretty good, but the old pretty makes you feel safe. I agree with that. So my hope is would be my wife. If she ever accused me of cheating, I think that's what I would say to her. I'd say, look, new pretty good, new pretty good, but your home pretty makes me feel safe. It's not bad. Do you know what I mean? It's like the video, um, it's them sort of hanging around, basically just having like a bit of a session. Um, and then out of nowhere, one of them looks down the camera and his eyes turn green like he's got a superpower. Were they bitten by like a radioactive lizard or something? I, I think it just needs to be explained. Or oh, that's one of the dangers of new p***y. Makes your eyes go bright green. Could be. So this is Young Thug with Surf. Surf, 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 surf His uh, face doesn't match anything else about his appearance. He's got some like really bright clothes and he looks pretty cool, but his face looks like he just won a spelling bee. It's a confusing video, I would say. The song's called Surf, then go to the beach, um, and then they got on some quad bikes, and then some very attractive women fire super soakers at each other. What I think has happened is that the song's called Surf, and they say, well, what do you do? If the video, if the song's called Surf, we need to go and surf. Not one of these pricks can surf. What are we going to do? Oh, I've got some super soakers and a quad bike knocking about. Okay, let's just use that. Uh, the next uh, song I'm going to be looking at is Vida Loca by Presser. Don't go act like that. Kiss her forehead and grab that back. And she gets gas when she does man's plats. Man, a bad man, don't take no chat. Splash her boy's chest watch his eye roll back. Ain't got ten some girls in uh, swimsuits with bikinis in this video, which is, uh, it's been a common feature. It actually looks like the car park at um, Crawley Debenhams, but I don't think it is. I like to hear like people like properly going for it with the, the bars and stuff. The contrast between sort of the lyrics being pretty full on and them just looking like super relaxed. I like that. So Presser sort of got this kind of um That's a bit I can't I mean I can't do it. But that's what it sounds like. I would be nervous the first time I went to a recording studio knowing that I was going to do that. So you hear the other guy going like, just spitting the bars normally, and then you go... <laughs> <sighs> One of two things has happened here. Either um, Presser has decided that that's what he's going to rap like, or that's his speaking voice. Because if he comes out of the booth and goes, I hope you thought that was okay. Then fair enough, if that's what he's sitting in the booth. But I was a massive fan of Cypress Hill and Be Real from Cypress Hill had that kind of high vocal thing. But Be Real t doesn't talk like that. I'd be interested in how Presser talks. I don't dislike it. I just think it's, uh, it's unusual and it makes me want to know the backstory. What is the deal with that voice? I like it. If you're out there, Presser, uh, get in touch with me, let me know what the situation is, ideally by phone, because I'd love to hear your speaking voice. That was my take on some of hip-hop's biggest tracks. Just disregard everything I've said, but I hope you enjoyed.